Warahmatullah. So we're in the kitchen again and it's time to do some have I got an echo? It's time to do some cooking. I've got a lot of some potatoes from the garden. I'm gonna make a potato dish that can be used as a, either an appetizer or a side dish. So keep watching and I'll show you what I'm making. What I'm going to be making today, I'm going to be making alu chops. Um, alu chops. What I've done is I've peeled some potatoes, and now these are potatoes grown in my garden. So what I'll do is I'll chop these and I'll boil these, just like you do for boiling mash. You need, to, need an onion, an egg, breadcrumbs, some chilli flakes, some cumin or zira, coriander powder, dunya, some salt, fresh coriander leaves, or cilantro as the Americans like to call it, um, and my potatoes. So I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to start chopping my potatoes and start boiling them. So just roughly chop potatoes, it doesn't matter about how, how these are, the smaller they are, obviously the faster they're going to cook down. So that's fine, just roughly chop is perfectly fine. And they can go into my pot. We'll give them a rinse again before we start boiling them. So let's just check on these potatoes. And yeah, they're done. They're ready for mashing. So now that they're boiled, they've been boiling for about 15 minutes. They're ready for mashing. So, so I'm just going to drain it all off. So once that's drained off, get these back in here, I'm going to mash it in that. See that water is just full of starch, it's full of goodness from the potatoes. You can use that to water your plants if you, or you can use it to add, add to your compost heap. It's great fertiliser. So I'm going to start mashing these up. Just like you do with mashed potatoes. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to add any milk and I'm not going to add any butter to this. So there we go. Quite simple and straightforward to get it mashed up. I'll show you how I mix it with the rest of my ingredients in a second. So for the amount of potatoes that I'm mashing, I'm only going to use half an onion. I don't need a full onion for that. So all I'm going to do is it wants to be cut quite fine. So it wants to be cut really fine. Yeah, you don't want, for this, for this, it wants to be cooked quite fine because you're gonna mix this into the potatoes. It's gonna form part of the main dish. I'm gonna take my coriander stalks and all, and just again cook this quite, quite rough. Put my mash in a, in a little bowl. I'm gonna add my onions, my coriander into here. And so I'm gonna add about a quarter of a, about a half a teaspoon of chili flakes. Get that in. And now it's time for my cumin, my cumin, 
my coriander powder and my salt, get that in as well. And now time to get the hands hands in and just mash it all together, mix it all up. So you could eat this just as it is now uh, and see we do eat it like this as well and uh, we call it aloo satni. So it's basically a potato salad. So you can eat eat this just like this. It's, I like this uh, served with dal. This served with dal is absolutely amazing. So aloo satni and da dal. So there's that all together. So that's my that's my aloo chop in. The inside of my aloo chop ready. Now I'm going to take my egg, break it into a plate. <clears throat> and while I'm mashing my egg up, I've got some oil that's heating up in a frying pan. So that's fine. Now there's two ways that you can do this with or without breadcrumbs. So I'm going to take some breadcrumbs and I'll show you and I'll show you both ways. So we'll take that. Now while the oil's heating up, I'm going to take my mash, so the aloo mix. I'll take a small handful and I'm going to just shape it. Use the outside of your hand to shape it. Make it into this nice oval shape. Make it firm so it doesn't fall apart when you're frying it. So there we go. So you just want to Squish it down so it's nice and firm and then it's a nice and it should naturally form an oval shape in the palm of your hand. So there's another one. So you, if you cup your hands like that, it'll just form it into the night naturally into that shape. Now that my oil's heated up, now the first way that I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do one with breadcrumbs. So first of all, dip it in your egg. Make sure you get plenty of egg on and then get good coverage with your breadcrumbs. Just place that into the oil. <clears throat> I'll do a couple without the without the breadcrumbs so you can see what the difference is. So lots of egg, get good covering with the egg on it. That's my fourth one in. They're starting to cook through, so I'm just going to flip them. There we go. Lovely. So you want to cook those until they're golden brown. Just give them the occasional flip, just to make sure that they're cooking through. So they're almost ready. Once they're in the frying pan, it doesn't take long at all. So maybe about three, four minutes. A um, couple of minutes on either side, and that'll do it. Just get a plate ready with some thick paper towels.
those two are those two are almost ready that one's ready this one just needs a little bit more cooking and it should be done I'm going to start taking these out up that's the one with the breadcrumbs that's the one without the breadcrumbs bon appetit bismillahirrahmanirrahim bismillah lovely that's delicious alhamdulillah um so i hope you like what you've seen i'm gonna carry on eating this i hope you've liked what you've seen do me a favor Hit that like, hit that subscribe, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And if you want to, share it out. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.